Hello everyone, myself Rajiv from IIT Ropa and with, along with my uh, teammates Anand from Bits Mishra, uh, Fazan from ISM Dhanwad and Siddhant from VNIT Nagpur. Our project was peer-to-peer -peer communication on Android. Uh, before going into peer-to-peer -peer communication, I would like to recall what happens in a normal Wi-Fi connection. In a normal Wi-Fi connection, when we want to connect two or more devices, uh, we need an access point. Our task was to eliminate this access point from the network. This elimination of access point would of course reduce the cost and it might be beneficial in rural areas where it's, it not, it's not quite easy to get an access point. Uh, the technology which we have used for this purpose is uh, Wi-Fi Direct. Wi-Fi Direct is a standard which allows two or more devices to connect to each other uh, without the need of an access point. Okay, so. These are the things we will be discussing in our presentation. Uh, so first, uh, first show the project plan. Uh, this was our project plan. Uh, in a Wi-Fi peer-to-peer connection, uh, there is one device act, act, acts as a group owner and other act as a clients. Uh, so first, our first aim was to connect a group owner to four other clients. Then we had to enable the app to transfer files from group owner to uh, clients. Files can also be transferred from clients to group owner. Uh, then we had to prevent clients from interacting with each other because in a student-teacher scenario, um, students should not be able to communicate with each other. Uh, then we had to uh, enhance this functionality to a large number of clients. Uh, then we thought of implementing a, a simple chat functionality within the app. Uh, then we had to integrate our app with an existing clicker app. app uh, which used Wi-Fi for the connection. This is a brief introduction of our uh, app. In accordance with the student-teacher scenario, we have developed two APKs, one for the instructor side and other for the student side. Uh, instructor can announce his or her device's name and students, students can connect to it. Once all the devices are connected, uh, they can transfer files among each other. Teacher can also turn on the chat server, then he, uh, then the, he can chat with any of the clients. Slide shows why we preferred Wi-Fi Direct over any other uh, NFC or Bluetooth. First of all, Wi-Fi Direct has a wider bandwidth, so we can achieve a very high speed through Wi-Fi Direct. Uh, theoretically, we can achieve a speed of 250 Mbps uh, through Wi-Fi Direct. Wi-Fi Direct has a very wide range. Uh, we can achieve a, a range of up to 200 meter through Wi-Fi Direct. Um, next, uh, we can connect uh, multiple devices simultaneously through Wi-Fi Direct, which is not possible with Bluetooth. Uh, also, uh, Wi-Fi Direct does not cause any additional cost on the user's end. Next, Fazan will continue with the presentation. Uh, I'll tell you about the hardware and software requirements. First of all, I think many of us believe that all the Wi-Fi devices are also Wi-Fi direct devices. So in, you are no exception because even the executive director of Wi-Fi Alliance, he said prior to launch of Wi-Fi direct that all the Wi-Fi direct devices uh, which will work on the system will support Wi-Fi. But it's not true. Uh, the first applications that were launched, they needed additional hardware. Talking about the software, uh, it uses Android OS with version 4.0.3 and above. Okay. Just as Rajiv said that there are two APKs, one for the group owner, one for client. We thought of making two APKs uh, in accordance with the Clicker Android uh, app. We have to make sure that two clients don't interact among themselves, just like uh, if two students interact among themselves, that it won't be that fruitful. So, the two APKs are nearly the same, but group owner has certain advantages, like group owner can send files simultaneously to a large number of clients. As the flowchart shows, first, in the group owner side app, the group owner will discover a PS. If Wi-Fi Direct is not on, then he will have to loop through, and then he will uh, just, once Wi-Fi Direct is on, he will click on the device name of any client, once the first client is connected, once the first client is connected, group will be formed. And once group is formed, the group owner can announce his device name. Once, the, uh, once the, all the clients know their device name, they can just connect to the group owner. Group owner has three functionalities to, to do. The first one is chat, then uh, send file, then receive file. 
if group owner intends to receive file from any of the clients, he just has to turn on his file receiver. Once he has turned on his file receiver, all the clients are free to send files to him. Next is sending files. If group owner intends to send, fi uh, send file, then he just launches his gallery and then he selects any file and then he can send it. It's very simple. But the thing here is that not all clients will receive the file sent by group owner until and unless they have turned on their receiver. Next about the chat server, the group owner can start the chat servers, then he has the option uh, to text anything to any of the client. Means once group owner has turned on the chat server, any of the client, the first one who connects to the, to the server, uh, to the group owner, will be able to chat with the group owner. If other clients try to chat in between, then uh, he, they will get the message that the server is busy right now. Our the client side is nearly same as the group owner side with uh, less advantages. If Wi-Fi Direct is on, then click on the uh, just uh, discover PS and click on the group device name of group owner. Then client also has three, three functionalities, chat, send file, receive files. If, group on, uh, if the client wants to uh, receive file, he must turn on his file receiver. Next to send file, uh, to send file, he must wait for the group owner to turn on his file receiver, then he can send file. If he wants to chat with the group owner, he will check for the availability of the server. If server is available, then he can chat. And if he wants to end the chat, or even if group owner wants to end the chat, he just have to type by and then the server will get disconnected. Okay, to tell about the challenges, I invite Siddhant. Uh, good morning, one and all. These are the list of challenges that we faced and were tackled by us. Uh, the first was turning on the Wi-Fi Direct um, um, as soon as the app starts, so no human interaction is required for that. The next is the synchronization of file sender with the file receiver uh, on the main thread uh, also and maintaining multiple threads for multiple clients while sending the uh, uh, files from the group owner to the all the clients that are present in the group. Um, the next is establishment of group just by use entering the MAC address uh, and presently we can connect uh, from the list of the uh, list that is uh, being searched by the peers and uh, after that we can connect but uh, also by uh, entering the MAC address is also possible. The next is the unresolved issues. Um, in any network uh, sending the broadcast receiver is there, broadcast address is there. So any if UDB packet is sent there, uh, the everyone in the client uh, in the in that network can receive that packet. But when we tried the same thing in this, uh, sending the UDB packet in through the broadcast address, it was not working. Uh, the next is the no callback uh, from the client when it disconnects from the group. Uh, the next is as number of clients in the group increases, uh, the connection becomes more and more unreliable, uh, and uh, the connection is very uh, reliable with only less number of clients. There are some bugs involved in DHCP client. Whenever uh, a group is formed, the group owner acts as a DHCP server. It assigns the client IP address for a particular lease time period. But uh, after that lease time period, it refreshes the, uh, again a new IP address is assigned to that uh, client. Um, but uh, for the, in Akash, there is only one, uh, one hour lease time period. So it's very uh, impossible for maintaining that IP address again and again after one hour. Uh, same device cannot act as a group owner and client, which is being uh, also uh, theoretical till now. Every time a client joins a P2P group, it is assigned IP address. Uh, but we were thinking to keep that uh, tablet as a per permanent static IP address, but which was not possible. Uh, as soon as the uh, client disconnects and again uh, connects to that group, the same IP address is not provided by it. Uh, next, moving the application user interface. This is the UI of the uh, group owner screen. This is the client home screen, in which 1655 is the um, group owner and here 756 is the client. Here, yeah, the uh, both uh, uh, group owner and client will uh, click on the discover. A list of peers will be dis uh, displayed. Here, yeah, uh, 75 CC discovered. He get the list of 1655, which is presently the group owner. He will send a request to the group owner. Group owner will receive a request. He will, uh, uh, if you want to accept it, he will click OK, cancel it, uh, click cancel. Uh, as soon as it get connected, the group owner will get uh, two file, uh, two options, send file to all and file receiver. Unless the file receiver is on, uh, the, he will not be able to receive any files from the client. This is the client screen. Uh, he has uh, four options that disconnect, receive packets in which he can receive files from the uh, group owner, as chat application and start sender for sending files to group owner. Here, uh, the uh, group owner has started the chat client, uh, chat server. So he will just say sending hello client. 
that is, uh, is received by the uh, client side as owner says hello client this, uh, and now client will also respond and like here it's hello group owner. Now what sending the file, uh, the group owner will select a, um, his uh, reply is received on the uh, group owner side also. On clicking the file receiver he will be able to receive files. Now the uh, client want to send to the uh, group owner so he will select any file from the uh, presently the list uh, whichever he wants. So he selects the 14.png which is received at the client side. Uh, I will like to uh, ask uh, Anand to continue. First I would like to give a demo of the app. Uh, there are two clients which are connected to this group owner. Uh, if I press the send file to all button, if we increase the number of clients, the connectivity poses uh, some issues and one client gets disconnected. The, the other tablet was also connected but uh, it got disconnected in the middle. While first file transfer was successful but the while the second was happening it got disconnected. Even in this one it, it was quite delayed but actually it is not so slow. So we conducted a few tests uh, regarding uh, how reliable the connection is. Uh, first we tested for one to one client, one group owner and one uh, client. Uh, that was quite reliable, the connection did not break for about 30 minutes. It was uh, quite successful. Yeah, it is mentioned there. Uh, uh, then for two clients we tried, that was a little less but that also lasted for about 30 minutes. But when as we moved for the third one, as you can see the uh, group formation time only took about nearly half a minute. 25 seconds. It was uh, quite a delay and that, this is one of the best timings we could achieve uh, in uh, some tests it, it must be mentioned it, it was quite it, it did not occur one client got disconnected. This was one of the uh, successful tests that occurred and uh, this also lasted for about 13 minutes the clients were connected they could uh, continuously transfer but that is the issue uh, the connection is not very reliable you cannot uh, uh, as you increase the number of clients the uh, the connectivity breaks. Uh, now I would like to talk about how we try to integrate Wi-Fi Direct into the uh, Clicker app. Uh, the previous, uh, the Clicker app which I was given uh, was using Wi-Fi to communicate from uh, uh, student and teacher. In this the teacher had to announce his IP address and the students could enter it and they could communicate with him. Uh, they were using UDP packets to send uh, uh, data to the teacher and teacher was sending UDP packets to the uh, student. So what I did was I before trying to connect as soon as the app turns on as the student tries to connect instead of uh, uh, connecting to the IP I, I asked the teacher to announce his Mac because Mac of a device cannot change and IP will only be given once they are in the same group or same network. So I, uh, in order to get IP they need to form the same group. So when the uh, student presses connect uh, uh, the teacher has to first uh, uh, log in into his home screen then his Wi-Fi direct will automatically switch on. And as he announces his Mac, then a student can enter his Mac and he connects to the uh, uh, group owner, or that is the teacher in this case. Then they are in the same network, then they can both get their IPs in a similar manner as they had done in the previous versions. All I had to do was uh, make sure that the socket connection was open when they were sending the apps, uh, sending the data. A few uh, problems were there, they were sending from main thread which was posing an error, so I had to create separate threads for sending packets and receiving packets. That was so the major issue, the rest uh, Wi-Fi Direct uh, was in uh, easily integrated and uh, we would like to talk about the future enhancements. Uh, as he said, the, it is theoretically believed that we can uh, achieve up to 200 meters but it is not currently possible, about uh, uh, 10 to 20 meters you can achieve currently and speed we tested uh, about uh, 650 MB file we sent over 8 minutes. It was approximately about 1.8 to 2 Mbps speed. It is not currently 250 Mbps. So if we could achieve that speed, it would be a huge advantage for any uh, low LAN. Tablet can be capable of uh, acting as group owner and client simultaneously. Currently, it is not possible. As if a group owner tries to uh, become a client to another uh, group owner, then the connection breaks. His first group is dissolved. Which this we do not want. There is a theoretical protocol which we can use to achieve that but uh, for that we require to switch the uh, power, uh, there is a uh, notice of absence protocol which you can use, uh, the group owner uh, dictates a time that I will be active in this period, then he switches off and then he can act as client to another channel. But that is currently not possible using the current APIs of Android. Also better control on the DHCP, we could not give static IPs to clients which were uh, fixed means if they got disconnected and they connected again we could not give them static IPs. We had no control over the DHCP, it was running on its own, uh, no interface to interact with it. Uh, 
stability of connection is uh, of course an issue uh, as you could see uh, as the clients were increasing the uh, connectivity time was uh, dropping so any queries uh, how does it compare with bluetooth sir bluetooth uh, current bluetooth is one to one communication and uh, it has standard it has standards that uh, if two devices have bluetooth then they have fixed standards that these ports will be open for file transfer but for wifi direct what it does is it creates a network then it allows you completely you can choose what you want to do so that is why we tried two apps if uh, you, you can connect to multiple people also speed is much faster than bluetooth though current bluetooth is fast but uh, bluetooth 4 new one will be faster but this is quite uh, quite high speed you can send fa huge files and any format of files uh, you can send from one file uh, device to another now when i get an n member group okay, n member what is the how many communication channels n square or still one on one so you can uh, communicate to, it is just like a simple uh, lan okay. lan so it's a simple lan you have somebody is acting as a access point yeah that, that yeah that group owner is acting as a soft access point soft access. it is uh, wifi direct actually it in, uh, it is a way of uh, implementing the legacy wifi uh, network uh, on a peer to peer basis one will act as a uh, group owner and other can communicate then it, once a network is formed if you know the ip of the other person you can easily communicate with him uh, there should be sockets running or whatever method you want let's give them a big hand i think they have done wonderful job Thank you.